The skies grew ominous and the radio crackled with warnings of flash floods. Amid the rain, Ferguson opened its polls at 6 a.m. for municipal elections that traditionally had drawn very few out to vote. But today was different. This was the first city election since white police officer Darren Wilson shot and killed an armed black teenager Michael Brown last August. Since then, this St. Louis suburb of 21,000 people has gone through epic upheaval with revelations of systemic discrimination against African Americans by law enforcement and the courts. There's widespread feeling, especially in the African American community, that if the turnout is low, then all the protests, the investigations, the calls for change will have been in vain. Read, Ferguson residents speak out ahead of key vote, St. Louis elections officials said they had no indication that turnout in Tuesday's election would be any different than other years. But among the candidates inspired to run by the events that transpired here, there was hope of seeing greater voter participation. That is what our democracy is about, said Wesley Bell a 40-year-old lawyer and criminal justice professor who also is a part-time municipal judge in nearby Velda City. Bell is running against Lee Smith, a retired electrical plant employee, in Ward 3. That area includes Canfield Drive, where Brown was killed, and the West Florissant Avenue business corridor that felt the brunt of the protests and the vandalism. Chard, heavily damaged buildings stand as scars of Ferguson's despair and anger. Both Bell and Smith are black, and no matter the outcome, one of them will double the African-American representation on the council. Even though 70% of Ferguson's 21,000 people are black, five of the six current city council members and the mayor are white. 